Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates Conquest with Inclock Fish 5. Um, the last time we had another health part right after recruiting Siegbert. And I've decided on my team for the next chapter, which hopefully won't be too much of a hassle. <laughs> because, well, this chapter really is a tough one. My team goes up to Ignatius, I believe. And yeah, I sure can use all the luck I can get. Because that chapter isn't all that easy. But I've got enough magic uses to compensate, I guess. With, um... No wait, not too many of them can actually use healing staffs, but... Yeah, let's see how this goes. Chapter 20, Wind of Change. <laughs> Song reference. Possibly. Wintra Village. Hmm. Uh, it's no use, Tuor. The Wind Tribe refuses to let us pass through their territory. They said if we even set one foot on their land, they'll attack, big me. They'll attack, big meanies. Hmm. Don't worry, Elise. We'll figure something out. This could be trouble. It's quite bothersome, darling. The Wind Tribe is supposed to be neutral. What's more, cutting through their village is what is the only safe option we have left. Huh. Big ol' liars. There is n they're about as neutral as... Um... Oh, you know what I mean. They weren't even remotely swayed when Camilla used her feminine what <laughs> Wiles on them. That can only mean one thing. They hate Nor, or women, or just Norian women. <laughs> Elise, you silly thing. I did not use my uh, did not use wiles of any kind, my love. But you may have a point about them hating Nor. Long ago, their village was attacked by faceless sent there by Norian mages. That said, I'm afraid there's possibly little we can do to win them over. Hmm. Understood. Well, we'll well, something must be done. I'm going to try reasoning with one, with them one more time. Mm -hmm. You sure? Oh, little Tuor, are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. It is our only option, I'm afraid. If that attack still has them apprehensive, I'll, apo I'll apologize on Nor's behalf. We must earn their trust. Show them that our new way is the way of peace. Oh. Oh, what a sweet little sister I have. But darling, what if they don't listen? What if they try to attack you? The thought is just too much to bear. Big sister. I appreciate your concern, Camilla, but I'll be fine. We must end this war as soon as possible. We have no moment to lose. As wielder of the Yato, it is my duty to, to do whatever I can to bring peace to the world. Wait here for me, okay? This may take... A this may take a while, but I'm certain we'll eventually come to an understanding. Oh, Tuor, please. Uh, oh, Tuor, be so careful. First time I had that scene before, I, w I was worried that I'm gonna start with mid the en amidst the enemies with Tuor and then well, the protagonist and then the rest of my units would have to um, get close and save the protagonist. <laughs> Good thing this scene showed that um, Fuga, this guy here, <laughs> who obviously is important, um, decided to come out to talk with us, so we are not in the, mid in the middle of their people without any other units. <laughs> oh, I can I can see the fierce determination blazing in your eyes, Southsider. Uh, can you? Uh, can you? That's good. Um, who are you? I am called Fuga. I am Fuga, chief of the Wind Tribe. <sighs> oh, uh, sorry, I had no idea. I am Princess Tour of Nor. May I request an audience with you? Mm hmm. Hmm. I was informed there were outsiders at the entrance of my village. Not just any outsiders, but ones claiming to be Norian royalty. I am intrigued. 
It must have taken great courage for a Norian princess to face me like this. I will hear what you have to say. <laughs> Put that sword away. Um... You will? Thank you! Yes, but not here. The winds, the winds cry out with a ferocity no mortal could ever uh, could hope to rival. We shall venture to my castle, Repu. There, your story will be heard. Tuor, is it? it? In time, I will require some information. It's about that blade you grasp. Come. Huh? My sword? Hmm. That's quite a tale you've just told. I believe I understand your aim. Just this once, I will allow your army to pass through this village. I will alert my people that you are welcomed, ga welcomed guests who are not to be disturbed. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, but before I depart, you said there was something you wanted to ask me? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's about that golden blade of yours. That is the legendary Yato, is it not? Oh. Yes, it is. How did you know? Hmm. I used to be close friends with Sumeragi, the former king of Oshido. I was always enthralled by the various Sushidan legends he shared with me. The legend behind that blade of yours particularly captured my imagination. <sighs> You're friends with the Oshidan king? But wouldn't that make you our enemy? No. Calm yourself, young princess. That was many years ago. My tribe has since adopted a policy of neutrality in regards to this war. Though Sumeragi was a friend of mine, we are not allied with Oshido. However... Huh? What's wrong? Listen well. That divine Yato is the key to the Seal of Flames, Sumeragi once warned me. If it fell into the wrong hands, it would lead to our world's destruction. Well. I would never let that happen. This blade, it chose me. The Rainbow Sage told me it was my destiny to wield it. That with this Yato, I was fated to unlock the Seal of Flames and end this, and end this war. Hmm. But are you truly worthy? I believe a test is in order. If you are unworthy of wielding the Yato, I will pry it from your dead hands. It can't be. What? But you just said that we could pass through here safely. Mm -hmm. You may, if, you, if what you say is true, and you truly mean to bring about peace. If not, the blade will fa will fail you, and I shall take up its noble cause in st in your stead. No. Please wait. I don't want to fight you. Don't worry. Don't worry, Tuar. Just show him what you're made of. This battle is no different than a than all the other ones we've fought and won. Don't worry yourself. You can do this. You're stronger now than I ever than I ever could have imagined. Your family is behind you all the way. Together, we shall prevail. Huh. <laughs> what have we here? Two more wielders of legendary weapons. The glistering metal of, the, of Siegfried, working alongside the ancient pages of Brynhildr. This fight will be the stuff of legends. Let me witness the power of those who align themselves with the Yato wielder. I will gather my best soldiers, including one nearly as skilled as myself. Hayato! I'm right here, Fuga. Uh. A child? You expect me to clash blades with such a cute boy? I'm not a child. I'm a grown <laughs> Basically, man. what Tour actually said was uh, with a cute little boy, but... <laughs> I'm not a child, fool. My name is Hayato. You should thank the gods you have the chance to face one as talented as I am. Oh. Um, right, okay then. He sure is confident for someone so... diminutive. He looks shorter than Elise, which he is not, in fact, according to height charts. Um, well, uh, model height, because um, Hayato was small, but I believe Elise and Sakura too were smaller than him, and of course uh, Midori, but yeah. He sure is confident. Wait, I already read that. What? <laughs> what? What does my height? What does height have it to do with anything, foul beast? Fuga, we're not gonna let her get away with insulting our honor, are we? 
<laughs> oh, if you're that angry, then extract your then exact your revenge on the battlefield. You're the mo you're the most talented mage in the entire village, young one. Unleash your power and show these outsiders the Wind Tribe's might. <laughs> like I'm even capable of holding back. Well then, Princess Tuor, the time has come. We will be waiting outside the castle. Come find us when you're ready to meet your fate head on. Yes. If this is how it must be, so be it. There we go. View the map. Oh boy, this is gonna be one thing. Okay, let's see. The highest defense that I have is Gunter. My s well, not myself because I have my defense is one lower. Ign so Ignatius, Gunter. Each with 26. Okay, so the non-mages have a the tech power of over 30. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Um, and the highest uh, magical attack, 35. S this one's attack higher? No. Um, anyone with a higher attack than 35 with a magical weapon? Um. That, wait, aside from Hayato, maybe? The Rabbit Spirit should be stronger, right? Oops. Yeah, with the Rabbit Spirit, definitely, but aside from that, nope. 35, yeah, this, these two are dangerous as well because of their, um, Italian. Wait, no, that's the German, wait, no, info, counter. <laughs> um, watching too many Let's Plays of the same game in German. <laughs> um,. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see, how many magic units do I have? One, two, three, four. And how many can heal? One, two, um, those are all the units that can heal, right? Yeah, okay, I've got two healers, but let me just refresh that heal stuff. Sure, let's take this one with us. Um, Elise? This is fine, yeah. But instead of heal, you can already take a ment staff with you. There we go. Now let's see how well this goes. Chapter 20. Save. And let's get started. I remember having lot of, lots of trouble with this chapter. At the end of the enemy's phase, any of your units caught in the wind's path will be moved five spaces. If there's nowhere to stand, they will be moved to the nearest safe space. Indeed, so if I end my turn here, I will be moved five spaces. If I were, uh, f since one, two, three, four, five spaces, there's nothing, uh, no ground, the next space will be this one. So, yeah, that's how this works. If I activate this Dragon Vein, it will move all units. Literally all, mine and the enemies. So, I would be moved 5 spaces, ending up here in the end. And, well, I guess this unit here, for example, would be moved 5 spaces, which is not possible, so that unit would stand there if I were to activate the Dragon Vein. On the other on the other side, these units would be moved down down five spaces. Meaning one, two, three, four, five. Meaning they would land in this space. Probably, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Um if they whether they'd end up here or over there. But yeah, that's how things are. And the wind is gonna be one hell of an enemy in this chapter. <laughs> so let's see. Um, I'm going to start with going to the left, I believe. Now let's see. I, I can't, uh, if I stand here and the wind tries to move me down, there is no space to be moved to down there, so the units will stay here. That's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, now let's see. Mad units with good magic resistance. Um, yeah, magic resistance. 
units with a good resistance stat. That'll do. Okay, Elise, you can position yourself here. I'll we'll try to get my other units over there as well. Let's see. Um, increase our amount of spaces to be to move. Okay, I separate. This one staff is silence. Okay, that's fine. As long as I don't get too many of my units in there. Um, oh yeah, our flyers can be moved down those five spaces despite everything. So yeah, flyer here. Um, country, you can boost my defense. But in the meantime, separate. No wait. Uh, I want. To, I meant to say I will separate later. Um, now let's get my other units over there as well. Right there. At least I've got a good amount of royal units with me. With Shigure, um, yeah. Shigure, Elise, Leo, um, Ignatius, Midori. Ophelia. Yeah, that's definitely a good amount of <laughs> those units. Um, okay, so the next time the wind will move me upward, so I will try to get, get down as far as possible. Um, let's see. At the end of the enemy's turn, so one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, ending up here. So I prefer it if, wait, let me just check this guy's range. Okay, they have the same range, so let me just check the range of all three of them. Um, actually, my flying units could battle this one and this other mage. That would that might prove useful. Um, can you reach that far up? Nope. But you can pair could pair up with Keaton, for example. Um. Let's see, um, I'm gonna make a shortcut here, see you in a second. Alright, I'm back, um, <laughs> it's been a few minutes only, um, so I still should be, uh, should still be fine. Let's see, your resistance is 18, if you pair up with someone, grants resistance, like her. Your resistance would be 21. Let's start with this. Um, with a resistance of 21, how much damage would these guys deal to you? 7. This one's stronger by 4 points. So this one would... They're faster than you and they would slow you down. Yeah, well, only one of them can reach you. Um... Rubber bow, yeah, that's fine. Okay. You can position yourself here. One space too little. Whoops. Well, that's that, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, and let's take care of one uh, of these one after another. Uh, one after the other. Let's start with this one. Behold the mighty stick. The old mighty stick. <laughs> and the dragon fang. Now for one hit. I'm the best. Good job, Selena. Huh? Skill and speed, okay. Now, next up. Dory still level 3. Anyone else still level 3? Yeah, Gunter. And Elise. And Leo. Well? What are you waiting for? Oh. Now Elise will be moved. But wait, wait, that's after the enemy's turn. That's fine. She'll just be able to rush back. Okay, um. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, was that after my turn? 
Now I'm worried. No, I think it was after the enemy's turn. Okay, Gunter? Can you finish this one off in one go? Nope. And you take a lot of damage. Okay, um... Can you weaken this one a little bit for me? <laughs> Maybe not you, of all people. Can you do this for me, Midori? Mm-mm. No way. Your assistance is great, sure. I... Hey, you... Yeah, okay, with the... Normal iron bow, I guess. Come on, please don't crit. There we go. Level 5 for Shura. Yep. And he learned Golem Bane. Um Alright, I guess. Next up. Gunter. Take care of this one. No! Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, switch. Well then, I guess I'll have Salas take care of this. Yeah, no one else can reach him now, so... Do your thing, Salas. <laughs> I'm here to help. No hard Seems like I'm really not concentrated right now. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Still fine with everything. Um, Dory over there. You can go down there. Separate the two of them. You can hurry over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it was after my turn, huh? Well, that. Oh, wait, after the enemy's turn. Perfect. Okay, okay. So the wind will blow me down once more. That is fine. This went pretty much everywhere now. Um, so technically I could just go ahead and activate it myself. Right after attacking this enemy here. With Elise. Or with Leo. Is Leo fast enough? This would not... No, this one does not suffice. But we can try to go with the... Rim which has quite the low accuracy, actually. Hmm. Oh wait, this wo this uh, wind would put, uh, push me further up. That would be bad. Um. Well then, let's. I don't know. What should we do? Wait one more turn and go heal my units. I guess that would be a good idea. Um. Separate. Please. Transfer over Leo. Not to him. Whatever. Um, you can use the man staff to heal up Shura. Separate the two of them. Um, transfer. Separate. There we go. You can go up. Go ahead and heal up Elise. Separate two of them as well. You go out of range. Separate two, though. I got Onyx, okay. There we go. And you go over there. Perfect. Go ahead and silence one of my units, that's fine. Okay, those flyers are heading over. And these guys on the right are heading over. But that's all of them for now. This is fine, okay. So the next ones to reach me... Gotta keep track of the range of those flyers. Um, yeah, I should still be safe. Yeah. Next up will be these guys here. One of them has a magical weapon, the other one doesn't. Wait. There we go. This one has the magical weapon, so if I kill this one here... One, two, three, four, five. I strongly doubt that he's gonna be blown up all this way. So I'm just gonna go with this. Got an amazing resistance though. Um. 
someone will boost speed greatly, maybe. Let's see, I need to be... I need to be way too much faster. No one can grant that much speed. And even less anyone I have with me. Okay, um... On the physical side... Grant him more resist, uh, more defense. However, Gunter would grant more defense. Yeah, and this would do well for Leo. Okay, uh, let's start with this then. Let's try the grimoire because I've got nothing to lose. Can we start now? <laughs> well, it hit. I guess. Okay, now he's slow as all hell. Um, let me just... This. Go over there. Switch and attack. Not strong enough. So I guess what I will need to do is... have a rally unit yet. Mm, that's not good. Need to move two spaces far uh, further. That's also not good because no one can grant you two spaces. How far can you go? One space would be enough. Then let's do this instead. Okay, switch it up. Your resistance is decent. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This is fine. You can take that much damage. And you can go all the way up there, switch with a spear and take care of this one. There we go. Level 14 for Gunter, uh, and he actually grew up by, uh, yeah, one of his stats actually grew up by one point. Nice. That's a good feat for Gunter. <laughs> Sadly enough. Okay, um, I need to get the rest of my units in position. Okay, someone who's not gonna use magic, but could use magic, maybe. I don't think I have anyone works that way. Um, except for? Wait, I have got I've got an idea. Convoy, do I have a bolt axe? No, of course I don't. Do I have a magical sword not with me right now? Mm, Alright then. Then it's gonna be. Push myself here. Convoy, can you. It would work. Maybe they'll actually try to do it because you technically would have. would carry around a magical weapon. We'll see. That hurt a lot. Wait, this one was the... Yeah, that right, that one was the one with the bolt weapon. For some reason I did not think this true. Whatever. Okay. Good. Being out of the range of this guy here. Oh boy. <laughs> could actually just blow them down further. That wouldn't be too bad. That way I would be able to fight them. However, someone would need to either sacrifice their turn in general. Yeah. 
Midori. Sorry about this. Dragon Vein sent these two down. Um, maybe. He just. There we go. Maybe right after Silas taking care of this one. Finally. Okay, everything should be fine now. <laughs> nice, level 5. Golden Bane. Yeah, sure, uh, let's put that one away. We're not gonna need this in this chapter. Um. Now? Wait, they, are, they have high resistances, right? Okay, then I'd rather just send away Ophelia for this. I have not considered this well enough. Well, this is fine. It's got decent enough resistance to take care of, uh, to take the hits of these guys. Um, I believe so at least. Your speed is fine too, but this lowest by six points, right? Oh boy. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to pair you up with someone. Um, okay. Next up... This. I believe in you. This is my chair. There we go. Good job. <laughs> Level 5. For Ignatius. Profiteer. Nice. Um, let us replace the natural cover. That should do it. I'll help you. Don't come closer. There we go. I can always count on you. Good job. Okay, so I need someone to block off this side. However, there's still a magical unit too. Wait. This guy here can. Let me just select these guys here. Okay, he can reach these spaces. So. Um, I need to retreat with these guys to the right, probably. Um, where can that one go again? All the way up to that spot. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So really, the max range is this spot here. Um. Let me just I position you here and rally. Position her here. How much damage would this be? 19. She can take that much. Over there. Um. Actually, this would not be too good of an idea, but... Okay, let's just... Don't read any speed. No, okay, then let's do it like this. Your speed is 26 now. Okay, you will be able to take both of these guys' hits. Okay, um... I'm gonna position you here, then. Hex lock spear. Yes. Boost your resistance. And pair you up with Ignatius. Okay, good. Now for this side. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just go ahead and switch. Flyer. Um. There we go. And two of you need to let's just keep you to the right. Because no wait, let's just keep you close to the others. Okay, wait here. Um Okay, this is a miss. That's a good start. We've got this. 
Okay, good. We'll have damage, and the other one will deal 13, I believe. 15, okay. But that's still fine. There we go, good job. Okay. Um. Oh god, a lot of units are move on the move, and the wind is going upward. I don't like this at all. Okay, but we'll see what we'll do about this next time. Alright, this is it for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. Until then, bye!